We're going on our second day of uh, this Paso Robles tour. So where are we headed today, Vicky? Well, yesterday we went on the west side, so today I think we're gonna go a little bit south on the 101 and get off uh, by Vineyard Drive and go on the east side over past the Templeton Gap and show off some of the really exclusive uh, wineries and larger tasting rooms on the east side off of 46. You got it. This is Templeton Road, and uh, we are gonna start out going to Bella Luna tasting room and vineyards. Hi, this is Sherman at Bella Luna Winery and Tasting Room in Templeton. Okay. Hi folks, uh, my name is Sherman Smoot and, and I'm the co-owner of Bella Luna State Winery. Uh, we're very small, uh, we have no employees, just my partner and I do all the work. We make about 1,500 cases a year. Uh, we're dry farmers, we don't irrigate. We don't filter our wines. Uh, we use only natural yeast to ferment with, which is a yeast that just blows around and collects in the berry skins. Uh, we concentrate on the Italian varietals because uh, my partner and I both like to eat a lot. <laughs> and uh, we, we believe that the Italian varietals are some of the best food wines in the world. Uh, we make, uh, we're known for our State Reserver, which is a uh, Cabernet Sangiovese blend. And we make 200 cases of that. That doesn't last long. Uh, we like to lay our wines out and age them. We also make a new, uh, we've got a new wine, new addition to our lineup here, which is called Sangiovese Grosso. Uh, that's a, uh, the, the uh, Brunello clone of Sangiovese. Uh, this we leave at least 24 to 30 months in the barrel uh, before we bottle it, and we usually lay it down at least a year before we release it after that. Uh, the wine that sort of got us started though, uh, both Kevin and I are veterans. Uh, I'm a next uh, Navy fighter pilot. I flew uh, fighters and, and uh, Kevin was in the Army. Uh, during that first unpopular war back in, uh, in Vietnam. And uh, the wine's called Fighter Pilot Red. And um, it sort of put us on the map. We now sell a little bit of this to the winery. I mean, I'm sorry, to the, uh, to the Navy. And uh, uh, you can see by looking around here, there's a lot of aviation stuff. It's mm. been my life. Uh, my first life is, uh, or my first love is aviation. My second love is wine. But I get the best of everything. I get to fly and then drink. So there's nothing better than doing those those two combinations. A lot of cattle ranching around here. We're just showing you a very casual look at the east side of Paso Robles and the Templeton Gap. Templeton Farms Equestrian. So oh. horses. That's what that was. So that's cool. We got some. Equestrian farms here. There are places to uh, rent as like B&Bs and inns where you can bring your horse out here. Happy Acres Family Farm and it, they're known for their cheeses. Okay, we are at Happy Acres Family Farm. It's so cute. It says self-serve. Look at the self-serve money box. A little refrigerator with their products. Their darling goats in the pasture and all their products are listed. And so we are gonna try some lovely goat cheese. Wow. They have garlic, they have plain. Oh, this is exciting. They have uh, How they, sweet that they, they trust people to come and do this. They have crackers there. Okay. So you get to try samples. Yeah, okay, so here we go. And I'm gonna buy some too. Okay, there's one, go ahead. Cool. Here they have body lotions, day creams, night creams, and they'll even let you uh, get a sample of them. Pretty neat. And here's their mascot. They even have uh, here uh, food that you can feed your animals with.
and they also have donkeys. Town of Templeton. There's some cool places to eat here. Sorry about that. A couple of cool stores worth coming to look at. And this huge grain elevator. Yes, like. that is really really cool. There's so much history and a really cool old hardware store. Founded in 1886. McPhee's Grill, very well known fun steakhouse. And one of my favorite places is Nature's Touch nursery and harvest. They sell all local ingredients here from local farmers and um, just really small time gardeners bring their, bring their uh, herbs here, their cheeses, some of their meats, vegetables to sell inside there. It's really nice. 